everyone, Lisa Hubbard here. Okay, so today is not about makeup, it's about hair. Ever since I got my hair cut, I've been having people ask me all the time how I get my curls to do what they do. So, and I try to tell them, when I start to tell you what I use, they're like, whoa, 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 too complicated. So, thought I would do a quick video just to show you what to do with your curls. What the heck do you do with your curls? And obviously, if you have super straight hair, you're not going to get these results unless you have a perm or, you know, whatever. So, curly girls out there, take a look because this is how easy it is. First of all, this is my secret weapon. Catwalk Tiki Curls Rock Amplifier. You can get this at hair salons. Um, I actually ordered it online and got it, like, way cheaper for, like, $7 a bottle, which, woo, score. I love deals. <laughs> so... Really quick, let's get started. All right, so I've got out of the shower, and here is my mop of curls. And not super curly when I first get out. And in the shower, I flip my head upside down, finger comb it, and scrunch it, okay? So I don't brush my hair when I get out of the shower. This is it. This is what we're working with. Okay, so here's my Curls Rock amplifier. I use two to three pumps of this on this length of hair and actually when my hair was really long I used the same amount so here we go so little glob mix it around so you don't get big clumps of it and then just All right, that's the first step when I first get out of the shower. Then typically what I'll do is I'll kind of get the front put into place how I want it um, and my part separated and then I go about my business putting on my makeup, doing whatever I need to do around the house before I finish getting ready. That gives this a little bit of time to dry and not get crispy. You don't want to get crispy, but um, just dry and keep the curls formed. So that's the first step. Um, and I will be back. All right, I'm back. Okay, so step number two. This step I can actually skip and just go straight to blow drying, but with my hair being short, I like the curls to be a little more defined right around my face. So if you have a little extra time, and it doesn't take long at all, I get this texture tappy, and this is just the brand that I had happened to buy. Um, this is Derm Organics, but you can get any texture tappy or pomade wax and just use a very small amount. I don't use hardly at all. Just enough to coat my hands. And I just rub it around just enough to coat my hands. See, there's not even any thickness on there. And then I just scrunch right around my face. Okay. And with the back being so short, it kind of just helps to find the curls so they don't straighten out so much when I blow dry. So there's step two. I meant to tell you earlier, if you didn't, sorry, have time to uh, do your makeup or walk around the house and you really just needed to get out the door fast, um, I highly suggest getting a blow dryer that has a diffuser or just using your regular blow dryer but on the low setting. Otherwise, you'll blow dry your curls out too much and then it'll be frizzier. Um, but anyway, all right, blow dryer's down here. Let's grab that. And now I am just going to blow dry.
All right, so we've just blow dried the heck out of it and look at these craziness already. Now is where we do the taming and it's done. All right, so my last and final step, and this is the part that nobody re realizes that I do. Um, so I can't stand when my hair is flat up top. I've got to have volume up top, and obviously I have plenty of volume down below. So these little powders, okay, this has always been my go-to. It's Surface Brand Push Styling Powder. Um, and then I just started using this one, and it's a lot cheaper. Um, doesn't work quite as well, but when you have as much volume as I have, I don't need you know that much but if you need um, a lot of help with getting the volume on top this surface brand is amazing um, but this rock your hair bombshell smells awesome so that's why I love it and I started using that I use that with this little fancy tool called a teaser brush um, if you are good at using the teaser comb go for it I for some reason cannot use a teaser comb to save my life so this little brush has actually saved my life all right so here's what I do. Just open this up right along my roots. I'm going to dump a little of this powder. Now you don't have to use a ton. And then I do one more line of it. Rub it into the scalp and you'll feel it feel you start to get thick there. And I'm not very neat with this, as you can see. So when you're doing this by yourself and not trying to make a video with it, it's actually super fast. It takes me all of like five minutes to do my hair. So now you take that teaser brush, you come right up here, and you just tease just a little bit. And then you got to bring it back down to smooth it out. But you'll feel that thickness up there that gives you a root lift. Sometimes I'll do a little bit back here, but my layers right now are so short that it really doesn't even need it. But if your layers aren't as short as mine, then you probably will. All right, so there is the lift. And then you can straighten your bangs. If they work great, leave them. This is all that I do with my bangs. I take the very front, twist them up. bobby pin. That's it. You have lift. You have style. And your curls are all huge and poofy but they're still defined and they look wonderful. So that's it. Sometimes I'll use a little hairspray if I'm going out to try and keep it in place. Um, but this is it. I can just do this if it starts to flatten out a little bit and curls go crazy. I hope that helps. All right. Bye everyone.